Hey guys, Anasha here. So, I don't know how many videos I'm going to start like this. Today was a very big mail day. Uh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packages in, sitting in front of me. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I have one that's on the floor. Uh, it's very heavy. I didn't want to stack it on here. And uh, it's probably going to be the last package anyway. So, let me move these out of the way. And, uh, hi. Some of these are GameStop. Uh, some were not. Some were just fall on the floor. Yeah. All right. So, let's we'll start with the GameStop ones. So, this is uh, one GameStop one. And uh, let's crack this guy open. And we have a box and a packing label. So this big box for this one box. See what's inside. Which I need some bigger boxes. I had a whole bunch of statues that I don't know if you saw in a video yesterday. Posted all those online. I sold one of them and uh, still got other ones online. And I need some bigger boxes to be able to ship those in. Okay. <laughs> all right. So it, it is a uh, PlayStation uh, aim controller. Uh, ooh, this is it's actually a lot nicer than I thought it would be. Um, I do like it. So the story on this right here is I actually ordered this back in October. I ordered this along with um, a Fallout Pip Boy, like the kit to actually make like a real one where you put a not just slip your phone in there. It actually had like a Raspberry Pi or something inside of it. You know, it was a really expensive one, but it was on like sale on that day for like. Uh, uh, 25 bucks or something like that. So I bought that and I bought this because it was on sale too and I never got it. Said it was delivered by UPS but I never got it. So I contacted them saying hey I never got it and they're like okay well we're going to have to do an inquiry about it said it was delivered so I have to do an inquiry with UPS and I got a call from UPS and they're like all right so you never got your box? I'm like no never got it. Like okay well we'll find out and we'll let you know what's going on. Never heard back. Honestly, completely forgot about it until I saw recently. I don't do Facebook that much, but I have a Facebook message. I was using Messenger, and I saw a message on there from uh, Brianna, and um, I guess she might be living right here. She's like, hey, I think I might have your package. And then that clicked in my mind, because looking at the time frame of October, when she sent that to me on Facebook Messenger, you have my aim controller, my pip boy. So that, so I contacted GameStop again uh, last week, and I said, "Hey, I still never got my package because that lady never messaged me back again. Like she read every single messages immediately. You could see that it read, that she saw it and read it. No, she's just dodging me, which is fine. You know, it's it's been forever. She probably got rid of it, sold it, kept it, whatever. I, you know, honestly, I don't care. It's not my problem. Uh, she tried to do the right thing, which." I left her alone because, you know, obviously she didn't have it. She kind of probably felt a little guilty about it. So I contacted GameStop again and said, Hey, you know, I'm bringing this up again. Uh, you guys said you were going to call me back and figure out what you're going to do with that. What, what's the status of that? I'm like, well, you want us to send you another one? I'm like, yeah, why don't you do that? So they said uh, a day later, they said, Hey, we don't have the Pip-Boy anymore, but we have the aim controller. Do you want an aim controller or do you want to refund the whole thing? I'm like, just send me the aim controller and refund the other one. And... I got a refund on the other one and I got my aim controller. So, long story, um, yeah, uh, that's basically what happened. All right, another GameStop box. <laughs> but yeah, I, I know, I, I probably should have left her alone, you know. I mean, I only sent her like one message and, and uh, yeah, I saw she sent, well, actually a couple messages. First one was like, oh, I know what it is. All right, so we have, this is, uh, you want this box, 
number 11. So let's go ahead and change this video from a full unboxing to you want this box with a little short story about that. Um, the packing slip there and all right. So first thing we got is a, a Fortnite cuddle team leader. I could have lived without this one. But you know what? I've been posting these guys on like all my stuff online and the things that I think would sell and things that I don't think would ever sell like this or this thing right here, which is a Soda Cats again. These sell. But cool things that, you know, the big things of these things don't. So we got Soda Cats, Fortnite thing. Uh, we got a, a pair of Thanos socks, really like knee-high socks, not knee-high, but crew socks, Thanos. This box was 35. The last box, number 11, it was not 35. It was only, um, it was 45. And I, after thinking about it, like, wow, that was not a good deal at all for 45 bucks. I was kind of disappointed. Uh, we got the creep, Creepies Cave Beast. Like a little jello thing in there. A little slime monster of some sort. Star Wars earrings. Yeah, don't eat those. Uh -huh. We got a Vegeta, Vegeta, Vegeta uh, figure. It's an action figure. Dragon Ball Z Super. And we have, oh, okay, I heard about this. Uh, you got Exiled Legends. Uh, it's a card game. It's pretty cool. I like card games. I'll have to look it up, see what, how, what it's like, and then if I keep it on my own or not. And then we have another figure. Age of Heroes, Lim Limillion. I don't know this. You know Age of Heroes? Is it sealed? Yeah, it's still sealed. Okay, so that's in. You want this box, number 11, and I think the quality's kind of going down on the box. Yeah, this one was 35, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about this box. So, uh, well, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this video here, and I will continue on to do another video of just the actual...